Hello, it's time again to have a look at a Lego promo pack. Uh, this one, model 30193, is the Ferrari 250 GT Berlinetta. Um, I didn't count the pieces, but there weren't very many. But it does have some very unusual features. One of which is shown here. So you can see it's pull back and go, which is very, very unusual. Uh, it's officially licensed by Ferrari. And over here, I believe these, these were given away at Shell Garages. Or maybe they were for sale, I don't know. We don't have one around here. Um, uh, so that Shell Helix, that must be elsewhere in the world, perhaps. But anyway, this is one of six that they make. So let's have a look. Well, there it is. To be honest, I wasn't familiar with this model of Ferrari, so I had to look it up and see how accurate it was and the car itself looks not unlike an Aston Martin and as far as that goes I think they've done quite a good job but if it wasn't for these studs here you certainly wouldn't realize at a glance that it's Lego and the headlights do point a bit too forward perhaps but as a little little model little toy it's pretty good it's certainly unusual and a pull back and go, and let's see, does it work? Hey, yes it does, very well indeed. And uh, it took me oh, less than five minutes to put this together, but it's an interesting little thing to have. And I probably will be getting the others in the in the series. So what was unusual about it? Well, the pull back and go motor is in here. These wheels are very strange. I don't remember seeing them on anything else before. And the body pieces are very specific i don't know if they've used these for anything else but i'd be a little surprised maybe the pixar cars i don't know and they, they, as you can see there's very few pieces i can't even get that piece off what's going on there come here ah, pop so you you can see it's just a basic shell with three specific pieces to finish the look of it so there we go um, there came a few stickers which were these numbers on the side here the rally plate kind of looking thing there uh, the grill and the fog lights and again the same on the other side um, what I find a little weird that's a sticker that's a sticker that is and that is but the windows are printed which I would expect but so are these stripes and the rally plate at the back and the registration plate. So it, it's a bit weird because these are really quite bright and these look slightly faded and washed out. But you can't have everything. I paid, I think it was £3-ish, including delivery from eBay. And it's a very interesting little thing to have. So it's going to sit on my shelf quite happily waiting for his brothers to arrive. So let's have a look. What do the rest of these look like? Well, firstly, in fact, there's the instructions. Extremely simple to build. 10 steps. It could have been less, to be honest. And here's the rest of them. We've got the Ferrari 150 Italia, which of course is a uh, Formula One car. Uh, the Scarudia Ferrari truck which I have actually got on the way, so I'll review that when it arrives. Uh, the F40, which I, I like how they've chosen this, uh, the white version. Obviously, Shell licensed it at some point. So that uh, looks quite interesting, that. And there's the one we've just seen, and an Italia in, in the nice Ferrari yellow, and in black, the FXX, which again, I'm not that familiar with. I seem to be a bit behind on my Ferraris. But uh, looking on eBay and Amazon and such, it looks like most of these you can get for £5 or less. It's the odd person uh, trying their luck, trying to get £25, £30 for them, which, uh, yeah, it's not worth that, is it? But it's an interesting little thing. And uh, certainly stands out from the other Lego, which is kind of a point. So that's it for today. There will be more Lego promos, more board games, more card games, more everything. So subscribe and like if you like, and I'll see you again. Bye bye.